Hey guys, it's your boy Goose here. <coughs> it's gonna be a bit of a different video. I'm gonna be showing you how to search between the box tree thing. So you wanna go about right, let's say right here in the map, over around here. Wait for us to load in. Yeehaw. I think I like how some of the challenges are done, but overall, I think the whole entire challenge idea really isn't the best for this type of game. I think if they could find a better way to incorporate them with your main objectives in the game, which is surviving, I think that would help a lot better. But today is truly just a tutorial on how to find it. Man, this guy's pretty bad. And that's my ammo. Oh, bros, bobbin' bros, yeah, boo, boo. Alright. So you just want to land about right here, bottom pit of Moisty Mire. Sort of near this bullseye. You can see the circle of hedges at about 120. Hey. Oh, I thought that was another fallen battle bus. No, it's. I think it's over here. Yeah, it is. in one of these swamps. Now, one key thing that you need to keep in mind when you're doing these challenges is that... Oh, there we are. Right here. You need to play the match to its complete. So I guess I will just, you know, see what I can do. But that is the bit of just learning where it is, trying to help you get your challenges done. What do we have? Alright, pump. Not too bad. Alrighty then. Anything over by the circle of hedges? No, oh, alright, then I'm just gonna head up to the crab. Originally thought it was that swamp. It took me a bit to find it. But I found it. Storm ice looking pretty good. One more time for reference, that's where it is. So this is just gonna be a normal Fortnite video. From here on out. Ooh. So, I went camping a bit ago, and one of the things that, like, kind of just, I was asked, oh, I don't even have any more wood, was if you had to bring, like, let's say three things on an island by yourself with you, no other help, what would you bring? And you might have heard this before. Maybe from other streams, something along those lines. But in all, my answer to this question, which it's kind of complicated. Now, you would want to bring some sort of food that you know lasts a good bit. So I would think. I would want to bring some sort of chicken that I can make into a soup. Because soup can always sort of be, you know, reheated. And I could just use it over and over again as a constant supply of drink and just overall food. 
And another one that I would bring is a pocket knife, just some sort of weapon or a multi-tool, something I could use you know, stuff with, and a lighter. That, those are my three things, just in all. So, I think the multi-tool is, you know, for obvious reasons. You know, in case you need to cut something, emergency purposes, that sort of thing. But, the lighter also, you know, kind of has its own job. I would definitely use it to cook food. Like, that chicken soup to reheat. And if I was on an island, I would hope that it has some sort of vegetation. For f oh, purple tack. For... Flame. And, you know, fuel. What do I want to bring? Yeah, chicken for the chicken soup, but that would also require tomato sauce and all that. So probably not chicken soup. I don't know. Probably just packets of ravioli in a good water bottle would do. Yeah, I'm just gonna place ravioli in water with the lighter. And, and the chicken. So then you would have some good ravioli. And I mean, what is a good what does a man need to live? I mean exactly ravioli. Cause ravioli is just that good. Say, is that another person over there? I guess I'll find out in a bit. Okay then. Now things are starting to look up. Loot this tree up here. What's over there? Can't see. Something that I really want to know, though, is like. Actually. No, wait a second. I, I need to go back to the chicken conversation because this thing just helped me. I guess I. I'll probably want to bring a hunting rifle. Because then I wouldn't need to bring ravioli or something like that. I knew you saw somebody. Hey, bud. In the wrong way. Thought he would take a bit less than that. Where where he came in from? Too bad I'll never know. Oh, two other chests. I feel like Moisty's been amped up. It's just been made into a better spot to drop. I mean, y you're kidding me, right? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I have faith gain. Pretty thin. Let's see, what else has Moisty to offer? Already done with the first thing. 26 other people left. And I've only crossed all of Moisty. That circle's turning out for me. It really is. So I'm just gonna hope that it can, you know, stay on my side. Oh, nothing in here. Those guys probably came from prison. So I'm not gonna head over there. 
probably head to this little mini hotel over here. <coughs> Let's see what we got. Man, my palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Palms are heavy. I haven't really seen anybody yet. I think ever like a lot of people would be flocking towards the spot that I showed you guys just this earlier. But I guess not. Well, I think I'm just gonna patrol around see if I can find any early bases. Bit of loot maybe. What's over here? I'll never know. So I'll just be going over here. Hey! Ooh! Don't think that's a person. So that little head freaking out. Freaked out. Oh. I mean, if I really was freaking out, I probably would have built, but. Hmm. Same, same. I mean, to have this much ammo and only have killed one person, I think is pretty impressive. I think. I meant to pick that up. Say, that's pretty weird. That's even weirder. But this place was like non looted. Anybody wanna, you know, peek out? I guess that's kinda what I get for being on like the very edge of the circle. Oh, it's one of those Illuminati trees. Hmm. I'll head for it. That's weird. Oh, there it is. Thought I'd lost it. Man, I thought that was just going to be a simpler tutorial, but I guess it's going to be pretty far. Not to mention two RPGs. But I think now I should be finding some people. First of all, I'm heading to a supply drop. That's on like the very edge of the circle. Perfect planning right there. So I'm just gonna have to book, pop this open and leave. That is a sniper shot. Fired off at west. Words cannot describe how much I did not want that. We just got dunked on, boy.
No, oh, I think I'm gonna have to hang on to everything that I got right now. I thought I was using a semi-auto. I mean, I'm not arguing with the purple bolt, though. No one can argue with a purple bolt. They're just too good. Really like how they did the sniping in this game. Gotta be kidding me. Really gives it that sort of go to risk, good reward feel. Cause like right now I could be using like a med kit for healing and such, but I'm just gonna stick with the bolt. Dry off my hands. I hate it when my hands get sweaty, my palms, when I'm playing. So I'm sure you doesn't happen too much. suck more and be dying with five other people left I mean maybe a tutorial but <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with what's happening right now not at all difficulties Alrighty. all right I'm loaded up on everything that I got Must be a tough loss. Tough loss for him. That is not for me. And he was like set up here. Doesn't really look like he left all game. So a good structure going. Hopes that you know won't be broken. Sadly, we all know how much that happens to me. Can't allow them to be hitting you from the bottom. Hey. What's going on over there? So that's one lost in the storm. Two other people left. That, my friend, is why you keep an RPG.
safes are practically defenseless. Yeah, I'm okay with him doing that, dude. You do you, man. I guess if you really want to snipe that badly, we can. Just be careful. Wish for. Yoink a doink. Started off as a tutorial is now a 1v1. With rockets involved. Alright then. But if you want this to happen so badly. Hey, if you win this dude, GG. I can hear my heartbeat. Boy! Oh boy! Yeah, well, what started off as a simple, good old tutorial now becomes my first victory royale on the channel. So, guys, if you like that win slash tutorial, please leave a like, subscribe, Goosified. Good night.